highest modulating frequency highest modulating frequency we further discuss the remaining criteria for single tone am modulation if single tone if single tone frequency mt is applied on a am modulator ct is a cos omega mt and ct omega ct then we generated am waveform is xam is ct plus C, ct mt just i write expression for am is a cos omega ct plus am i use am to distinguish this a and this amplitude and basic signal amplitude am cos omega mt cos omega ct here k into a equals to 1 we assume that amplitude sensitivity into carrier magnitude multiply result is 1 I assume that to expand this expression mathematically I got by expansion we get three term cos a cos b cos a plus b cos a minus b three term now in this term we introduce a new parameter mu mu is ratio of amplitude upon message signal magnitude upon carrier magnitude we replace am with this term a mu is replaced with am is replaced with a mu a cos omega ct with this replacement we got three term three term mu is known as modulation index these two term first term represent carrier second term represent upper side band because frequency is increased omega c plus omega m this is known as lower side band upper side band carrier is denoted by omega c upper side band is denoted by omega c plus omega m and lower side band denoted with omega c minus omega m we have three different different component i took some common from carrier component common from this expression remaining term are remaining term are reduced to this way i can further reduce a cos omega ct 1 plus mu cos omega mt this is our basic am waveform maximum envelope amplitude is a 1 plus mu minimum envelope amplitude is a 1 minus mu minimum envelope magnitude if i draw a spectral pattern of these two term these three term carrier upper side band and lower side band if i draw carrier a pi by a pi carrier in both direction a pi because our basic expression is st equals to a cos omega ct a multiply with pi due to cos omega c is base of this spectrum carrier component first side band i rewrite expression mu a by 2 cos omega c plus omega m t this term this frequency term is marked here omega c plus omega m this frequency term is marked here minus omega c 
plus omega m upper side band with magnitude is mu a by 2 pi pi due to cos in same manner mu a by 2 cos omega c minus omega m t lower side band also height of these two arrow is same this component is minus omega c minus omega m omega c minus omega m in this way we draw single tone em waveform complete spectrum for single tone em waveform spectrum for single tone em move further with power calculation in em we start power calculation for em power calculation for power calculation total power we assume pt carrier power is come from this term because it is term is related to direct carrier complete em expression is composed of c u l we can write st equals to combination of c u l upper lower and carrier power in carrier is this if we use normalize resistance for transmission antenna resistance r if r equals to 1 ohm if r is not 1 ohm this is the power for that in this case power is power come from magnitude peak magnitude square divided by 2 or rms value square peak magnitude divided by peak magnitude square and divided by 2 and divide by 2r plus peak magnitude square and divide by 2r now we consider r equals to 1 this power is reduced to a square mu square a square by 8 mu square a square by 8 take some common a square by 2 1 plus mu square by 2 this power is related to upper side band power PC mu square by 4 this power is related to lower side band power which is also equals to upper side band power PC come from a square by 2 I put this value is PC total power is 1 plus mu square by total power formula for am is pc 1 plus mu square by 2 side band power upper side band power lower side band power which is calculated from this formula now introduce new term modulation efficiency modulation efficiency what is the modulation efficiency is side band power power upon total power side band power can be rewrite as useful power upon total power useful upon total all the useful power are part of side band efficiency means p side band upon p total total side band power is pc mu square by 2 total power is 1 plus mu square by 2 pc if we cancel with pc to pc last resultant formula for us is mu square 2 plus mu square when mu equals to 1 efficiency is 33% If we took mu value, other value of mu, if mu equals to 1 upon root 2 efficiency by this formula, 1 upon root 2 put into the formula, 1 upon root 2 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2, and it means efficiency of this is 
if you put 1 by 2 then efficiency of the AM transmitter is 11.1 percent this efficiency figure directly denote how much useful power we have how much useful power so we can directly comment PC on sideman power in this case if efficiency 33 percent means in 2 by 3 power is carrier power and 1 by 3 power is useful power only 33 percent is useful power from total power total power in this case 1 upon root 2 useful power is 20 percent and sideband power is uh, sorry carry power is 80 percent of the total power if 1 by 2 then useful power is 11.1 percent and remaining power is 88.89 percent is means mu equals to 1 sideband power is only 1 third of the total power this is the very disadvantageous point for AM the carrier takes more power than modulating signal because 33 percent power is useful only 66 percent is useless we took next example with AM I took an example AM waveform is given to us antenna resistance 5 ohm sketch the spectrum and calculate power power and bandwidth also in this question message signal and built here we can fetch the bandwidth from here for fetching bandwidth we have to compare with standard expression now we compare with the standard expression this FM is we can calculate directly from 10k and carry frequency is 1 mega if we want to calculate power means we directly put the formula a square by 2 carrier power a means 20 square divided by 2 means 200 watt if we consider resistance R here to divide by 5 means 40 watt normalized power and with considering R if R is given to us use R if R is not given to us means it is normalized R is given to us 40 watt then total power is a square by 2 1 plus mu square by 2 PC 40 already calculated a square by 2 R R is already 40 for mu calculation mu is come from this point we compare this term with this component 0.9 square of it divided by 2 40 1 plus 0.81 divided by 2 equals equals to come out from calculation is 56.2 watt now we want to sketch the spectrum for that for sketching a spectrum we need to expand it this expression have three component carrier plus upper plus lower carrier we already know it is at 1 mega 1 mega magnitude amplitude attached with carrier is amplitude attached with carrier is 20 cos 2 pi into 10 to power 6 is a a cos omega ct a is peak amplitude if we draw a spectrum so 
a pi is required because from cos pi component is come out we already discussed if we show in radian per second then it is magnitude now we are drawing in hertz because megahertz megahertz so we have to scale omega to f how can we scale 2 pi f omega to scale is uh, for scaling purpose we are already discussed in a small section i rough some portion for scaling purpose we use this idea is del 2 pi f and del 2 pi f is scale in this way means by dividing 1 upon 2 pi we can find answer in f scale if it is omega then 1 mega into 2 pi now magnitude is a pi a is already known to us pi is also known to us 1 mega into 2 pi if it is not if it is not then we are using here simple idea to convert into f we divide the magnitude our original magnitude is a pi 20 pi upon 2 pi now our original magnitude become 10 10 is the magnitude for carrier now upper side bend for upper side bend calculation we use this portion this portion segregated into two component 9 cos something cos second something if we divide 9 by 2 cos a plus b plus 9 by 2 cos a minus b this 9 by 2 is multiply with pi this 9 by 2 sorry 9 mul point 0.9 multiply with 20 is 18 18 by 2 is 9 not 9 by 2 and then 9 is multiply with pi is 9 pi cos a plus b and cos a minus b 9 pi if we want to convert into f hertz then 9 pi divided by 2 pi is 9 by 2 now upper side bend 9 by 2 lower side bend 9 by 2 upper side bend in negative side also 9 by 2 and lower side bend in negative side is 9 by 2 these point 1 megahertz with the carrier component then 10 1 megahertz with message signal is 10k then 1010 and 990 minus 990 minus 1 mega minus 1010 this is the complete spectral representation of am waveform where we mark all the amplitudes and frequency also.